so we've got some bricks in the barra and a little bit of mortar mixed up just in that tub there and we're taking down the segmental arch that was here before uh, just set the line up you can see here um, I'm just like kind of like working out uh, what I'm going to be doing here because I'm making this up as I go along but um, I'm going to do uh, as I said a while ago um, two gothic arches here and I think I'll bring the top um, outer ring to a point as well so we'll have like one big gothic arch going over it with two small ones inside a little bit like a church window really but um, that's uh, what my idea is so what I'm going to do is um, as again mentioned before I've now got my tools here so I'm going to use obviously the reset because um, at the moment I don't have a, an Arbitec which um, this does okay but obviously not as good as an Arbitec and then have a trusty Dewalt in there so they'll be for the preparation and for the shaping of the cants and then we'll get underway
You see we're now on the fourth course, so one, two, three, fourth course, we can see we start the cants. These are called cants. And uh, this one here, where it goes to a normal brick is a cant stop. So on here, I've got to have one either side, so we're gonna have a double cant stop, which is what I'll do now. So we've now reached the height where the cant's finished. So I've just got a, a double cant stop to put on, just the same as the bottom one. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll take down both sides, just two of them out, and then I'll uh, have a little think, a little decision making to, um, to see what I'm gonna do. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Let's have a bit of and um, get this one cut, laid, and then, as I said, take these down from, um, uh, let's say that's the leftovers of the segmentals that we did. So we'll get that out of the way and uh, do our two gothics. So to get these out and toothed out, because obviously I want the arch to spring from this stretcher here, so I'm gonna to have to take these out. So the way I'm gonna do that is with my resip. Sounds like my battery's going. I know this is training more, but this is just as good on uh, normal lime joints.
Okay, let's clean them up. So, we've got a brick here. Has been cut as frog down. So, that's what I do on the rare occasions. But I lay a frog brick. Right, so. Right, so that's the can't stop. So this is where the arch will happen. Um, I've been thinking about some. The idea is to, to do, I'm gonna cut this one out next. Um, the idea was to do about a nine inch, but we'll see. It might be a little bit too heavy for the size of the opening, but I'll, um, I'll set it out in the workshop. If I think it looks all right, then we'll carry on with it. Let's see how it goes. Right, so I'm going to do the arch centres for uh, these gothic arches. Um, I'm using a little bit of ply left over from the last uh, one that we did. So um, we know that we have a span of 335, so I'm going to mark that out here first. 335. But I'm only going to make this 330 because obviously the other 5 mil will just give us two, two and a half mil either side of the, the brickwork just to allow us to get this out. So <clears throat> this just needs a screw in it to stop it moving about. So I will just stick a screw either side. Here. I don't catch myself on them. Um, now what would be really good would be if I had some lath um, that we use for our um, uh, ceilings where we work. But unfortunately I don't have any of that. So. Um, if you remember what we said uh, in the drawings when we uh, were doing this, the setting out, this is a span. So on a gothic arch, our striking point is here for this side. And we'll cut, curve an arc there, and then we'll put our um, screw in there and we'll curve this way. And that will be our um, shape that we're after. Might be able to do it. Straight with this, we will. So that is the span. Striking point is there. And I'm gonna. I want to see this quite well, so I'm gonna have to um, scribe this in quite deep. So there is our gothic arch, the intrados, and from this we're going to um, mark out um, the gauge and radiate from this point for all these joints, and obviously from this point all these joints. Now we've got two of these to do, and we've got a nine inch pier, so the centre point, if you imagine this being the left hand side and the right hand side there, 
where um, these bricks and these bricks meet, obviously there's going to be a, a centre joint coming up as these cut and gradually come out of that. So the two arches will intersect about here somewhere and have a vertical joint through there, which um, hopefully should look quite good. So um, next thing to do is just to um, mark these out by just um, getting another line through here and then obviously I'll have to mark all my bricks out on that side. So that's what we'll do next. So, span, starting point there, put this brick here, and then what we need to do then is we will strike this point all the way through, and then we'll mark our gauge on the extra dots there, and then radiate them all down to this point, and we'll see. I'm kind of thinking that these are going to be very, very... Um, pointed bricks so we'll have to see after we set it out um, what the look is like if it's not that good we might have to go to um, just a half and radiate um, cuts in that way um, I would like to do it in a nine inch so um, we'll see what that one looks like I'm sure we can do it right so I've just um, run the pencil through the scratch that I did uh, just to highlight the arch because I'm a little bit um, dubious that you might not be able to see it or not but um, so as we said we're going to have a brick there we're going to mark here and then from that point there which is the outside of the arch we've got a striker line there. and as we said before for this side our striking point is here so we put this in right there make sure we move free just release it attach there so There is a line for there. Just going to have to move this touch to get the last bit. And do the same on the other side. full shape of our arch. I just want to make sure we keep that secure. I'm screwing it back into place again. So I'm going to do it in the middle this time. I wouldn't keep them to do this if I had a like a normal sheet. Uh, but it's only because um, I'm using off cuts. That has proven to be a little bit awkward. Right, so rather than space all these bricks out like I sometimes do, what I'm going to do is do it with my dividers. So I just put a pencil mark to represent 
the piers that we built outside. And then what I'm doing then is I'm going to just trace this round to see how I uh, meet in the middle. Now, with a gothic arch, you have got a little bit of um, play on this because you can see there I've come to that point. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently draw a line there. Because what I want to see is what well, that's going to like, look like a little kite there, which isn't too bad, but I want to see what the, the joints look like at this point. So let's just come back to that one and that one. So from that point. So I'm quite liking the size of these. You can see through the middle. So we would have a little bit cut there, that one to that shape, and a little diamond or kite in the middle there. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. I think we'll go with that. So just to get a better look at it, you can see this is a, obviously the depth of the arch and then what we were just talking about, this one would have just a little piece cut out, this one would be like a wedge shaped one and then the top one would be like a kite because obviously we wouldn't have the joint running right through there, we could just do like the floor one there. Because two little pieces in there probably would look wrong. So um, that's what we're hoping to achieve. So each of these lines is like a centre mark for each joint. Move that screw to get that one accurately. And I am happy with those ones, yep. So just want to move the screw to get this one. And then I shall do the same the other side here. So to do the other side, again I've just got the so, like so. That is perfection. So this time, striking point is there, so we just keep it on that line. help if you keep to the right marks.
That really does look good. The meat on those ones really nicely. So this is what we'll be looking at. Um, but what we did mention as well is that we would have a joint in the middle there. We'll keep it quite small. So I'll only just roughly do this. So all these bricks will mimic so that, that cut there will be the same there because obviously the other arch is going to be going that way and that will be the point where that arch comes out that way. Yeah, so we're looking forward to this now. So I can cut this out. I need four like this, mark them all up the same. Uh, again these are the centres so I'm just going to have to add like 3 mil either side of those because we're going to go for um, well I might even go a bit smaller 4 to 6 mil. 6 mil is definitely the biggest that we want to do on an axed arch so uh, I'll try to keep them to about 4 mil. so 2 mil either side of these centre marks and we'll set it out like that and cut all these bricks next time we're here and then away we go